they spread out and wound up in areas um, in South America. Um, if you've ever heard of uh, Tiwanaku. Tiwanaku is an old civilization on Lake Titicaca in South America. It's got some okay. of the oldest archaeology that we found in the area. And specific references to gods called the Viracochas. Now, mm -hmm. the odd thing about these gods is they came on boats when their city was sunk by an angry god. And they were really, really tall Caucasian people with beards. Now, people in South America, no face hair. They found mm -hmm. this to be bizarre. You know, yeah. their people are an average yeah. of five feet tall. Now, they kept records, and they said that these people were two of their people high. Even at a person at 5'3", 10 foot is really effing tall. We're not talking about just tall Norwegians, right? We're not talking about tall Icelanders. We're talking no. about giants, right? Now, the Viracocha, Viracocha was the god himself. He had a group of gods that are often referred to as the Viracochas. There were demigods that came with him, right? Mm -hmm. They were not as large as Viracocha. They were also a type of demigod. They were his descendants. Now, they brought to those people all of the same things. They brought them farming, taught them how to read the seasonal calendars, how to chart them by the stars, how to navigate, how to uh, build ships out of reeds. Now, when you look at the Egyptian ships that are built out of reeds and then the South American ships that are built out of reeds, they look an awful lot like long ships, but smaller and built out of reeds. Hmm. Same shape, though, with the slanted and curved prow that comes up, the wide belly, almost like a long canoe with oh, the right. two posts that yeah. in, the front in the rear. Now, they were making reed boats that looked almost exactly the same. Now, the Viracochas brought them this knowledge, right? Now, at the same time, in another place in South America, you have another group of people that are telling the same story, but their god is called Quetzalcoatl, right? Yeah. Very hard to pronounce name, but I, I practiced for this podcast. <laughs> so, Thank you, brother. <laughs> Quetzalcoatl. Quetzalcoatl had the same thing in common with uh, T the uh, Viracochas. He was a very tall, light-skinned, bearded giant. In South America, yeah. Yes. Now, the Viracocha are more up towards the Yucatan Peninsula area. All right? Okay. Now, the Yucatan Peninsula is the little the boot on the tip of Mexico. Yeah. And it kind of sticks out yeah. below Florida in the Gulf of Mexico. Now, if you drop our sea level about 300 feet, you wind up looking at North America and you have a detailed description of the map of Atlantis, described it as an island. Mm -hmm. Around that island was completely water, surrounded by a ring of land. Outside that land was another body of water that was connected to a great ocean, and then another series of land that was islands. Now raise the sea level 300 feet, you're not going to see any of this stuff. Drop no. it 300 feet, the Gulf of Mexico becomes a chain of islands. You have one hmm. big island in the middle of it, right? Drop it 400 feet, that island gets pretty damn big. Now you have Florida on the outside ridge of that. If you drop the ocean level 400 feet, you also have something big that happens. The Bahamas, Bermuda, and Cuba all become one giant piece of land. So now you have two rings of land. You have oh. Florida and the Bahama Islands, then the Gulf of Mexico, and a large island chain in the middle of it, almost like a bullseye. On the other side of it, if you're heading west from the Gulf of Mexico, you have Mexico itself. There was a giant river that flowed down from the Rio Grande at one point, and they know the path of the river from the geological satellite data. But then you have the Baja Peninsula on the other side of Mexico that is, you have another little bay there and another piece of land. So you have a target, you know, you have the yeah. island in the middle, water, more land, more water, more land. That's kind of how Atlantis was described. 